Hey everyone, this is the third in my Lotus Birth series that I'm making at the moment. Today's video, my top fives are going to be about the top five questions that people have asked me. Okay, so question number one that I get asked probably the most is what I did with the placenta afterwards. Now there's many things people can do with the placenta. This is just what I personally have decided to do. Um, I have decided to keep the placentas and then let the, my children, um, the, my last two children that I've got them for, decide what they want to do with them. Um, this is actually them here. Okay, so here are the two actual placentas. You can see they're in the muslin blankets, like I explained in my other video that I like to wrap them in. This is how I've actually kept them um, after they detached. You can see there they've got the little ribbons on, keeps them all nicely closed up. This is basically how I intend to keep them. Um, and I, I'm going to keep them and let my children decide how, what they want to do with them. So. Basically, when they're at a certain age, they can say, okay, I want to plant this, or I want to keep this, or I don't know, it would be entirely up to them. I consider them their placentas, and you know, they decide what they want to do. Um, all I did in order to keep them like this is after they detached, I let them continue to dry out. Um, by doing that, I just kind of let them get plenty of air, I put them on the windowsill, so the sun could help with the drying process and that was it really. Um, then when they were completely dry um, I just made sure they were all nicely um, contained um, in the little kind of sack things I made like this and I just keep them in a safe place in my house. Um, now I don't tend to tell people the exact place, they're, not, they're nowhere special um, but when you really read um, about what different cultures do with the placentas some consider them to be very special. They consider them to have um, kind of their own um, spirit and the, you know, they like to keep them safe and they like to keep them away from others because some people say that you can use them for witchcraft and things like that. So for me personally, I just think it's, it, it's nicer just to keep them somewhere privately that I'm not going to kind of advertise this is the exact place you can come find my baby's placentas. Um, may sound a little bit weird but that's just that's just how it is and how I personally feel about them. Now at the moment this is how they're stored and this one here, um, no I'm wrong, no this one here, um, this is actually two years old now. Um, and it still, it still seems to be preserved perfectly well or dried like that. Um, but I would like to eventually maybe find like an urn or something nice to put these in more solid um, to keep them a little bit safer. So if anyone's got any good ideas of something that these can go in, then, then that would be amazing. Um, but I'm, I'm not really too worried for the moment, but eventually I would like something nice to store them in. Okay, um, so the next question would be the belly buttons. Do the baby's belly buttons look any different to um, doing when, when you cut the cord? And the answer to that is no. Not in my experience. I've had two lotus births. Um, both of my babies have innies like my first two children did. Um, they look just normal and regular to me. Um, I think all babies belly buttons are going to look slightly different from each other's. Some babies have innies, some babies have outies and to me from the reading I've done and from my experience um, how the cord is handled after birth seems to make no difference whatsoever. Um, number three, um, the question is the smell. Did it smell a lot um, during the process of the lotus birth? No, I didn't find that my lotus birth smelled a lot. Um, there was a very faint smell, kind of like meat. I mean, I don't really have meat around. Um, it's been a long time, um, being that I'm vegan. Um, but no, I mean, there wasn't really a bad smell. It was just, say, a faint smell, kind of like meat. Um, and you can use the herbs that make it smell good. 
and I talk about that in my first video in the series. Um, why didn't I eat it? That's um, the fourth question I'm answering today. Um, I get that asked quite a lot. For me, this just didn't really resonate well with me. I stopped eating meat when I was about seven years old. And um, yeah, I mean, eating meat, um, well, sorry, the placenta to me is kind of like eating meat. It essentially is a piece of meat. And not having eaten meat for so long, um, yeah, it just doesn't really sound like something that's appealing to me. I'm not saying it's wrong or right to eat the placenta, just to me personally, it just didn't sound like something I wanted to do. Um, I didn't really feel a need for it. I feel like I get plenty of nutrition through my diet and through my lifestyle choices I make. Um, and also with the reading I did about um, some people where they believe there could be, you know, a spirit uh, attached to the placenta, the experience I had um, after my first latest birth and how my baby reacted when his placenta was no longer attached, it to me, it really felt like the right thing that I didn't eat it. I let it fall off naturally um, and I'm now keeping them to let my babies decide. Um, and then my last question today, number five, is how long it takes for them to fall off. Um, this is always different for everyone. Um, for me personally, the first time it was almost exactly four days and the second time it was just under three days. Now I have heard um, for some people it takes a week. Um, I believe some people have even heard it taking slightly more than a week. So, you know, that's just how long it took for me personally for them to fall off. I did remember reading sometimes humidity and stuff can make a difference. Um, I don't know. Um, for me, I did what the one that took, the first one that took about four days to fall off, that was in the winter. And then the second one that took about three days to fall off, that was in the summer. Um, but yeah, that seems to be, you know, I mean, there is a very similar amount of time and that's just how long it seems to have taken for me. Um, okay, so yeah, that's all the top five questions. If you've got today. anything you want me to answer about Lotus Birth, um, any other topics you want me to cover, just let me know. I'm definitely gonna make more videos on this topic. And I also eventually want to make a video talking about my birth experience. And also, I'm definitely gonna be making one on cloth diapers soon too. So I hope you enjoyed this video and look out for my upcoming videos. Thank you and hope you all have a good day. Bye.